Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about my favorite topic as of lately, which is skeletal meshes. And today I'm going to show you how I created this spectral effect um, using skeletal meshes and the Niagara particle system to basically trace or track your uh, animations um, in real time for different different types of meshes even. So uh, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time here. Hopefully this will be a little quicker than my other videos. Um, let me just remind you, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and uh, let's get into this. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the setup that I have. Uh, this is pretty simple. The first thing that I did was I created a blueprint and um, within that blueprint, I created two things. So the first thing I created was, it was just an actor blueprint. And I added a skeletal mesh component. That was the first item. The second item I added was a Niagara particle system. Then within the event graph, on begin play, I set this up to do just a couple things. Let me show you what I did here. All right, so on begin play, what I'm doing is, the first thing I'm doing is setting the skeletal mesh on our skeletal mesh component. So this is where I created a variable down here, which is of type skeletal mesh. And this way, I, I also exposed it to make it public. And this way, within the blueprint, you can choose a different skeletal mesh. So I set the skeletal mesh. Oops. The next thing I do is I call a set. I call set Niagara skeletal mesh component. And I pass in the Niagara system, which is again our component up here. I pass in our skeletal mesh, which is our component from right here. And that will initialize the skeletal mesh component for Niagara. This was the important part that I was missing for a while and not understanding how to tie my current skeletal mesh to the Niagara emitter. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But this is the real key piece right here. The next thing I do, these are two basic things just to uh, test and, and show you what, uh, what's going on is I play the animation. Typically, you wouldn't play an animation this way. You would use an animation blueprint to control the animation, but that's a different topic. So for the animation, I pass in a, uh, this is my variable down here that I can also set in the uh, publicly on the blueprint. This is of type anim sequence. So uh, that's important. Um, if you search for animation, you won't find it. Then I set that, the skeletal mesh animation, I set to the animation that's passed in. And then the last thing is I change the play rate of the animation. And I set that uh, to a variable that's right here. So I wanted to slow things down a bit. So I changed the play rate to 0.5, so half speed. The next thing that I want to show you is the emitter that I created. This is actually really basic. So just like I've done in my previous videos, uh, you right click, right click in your uh, content thing, uh, FX and Niagara emitter. I chose a the default template emitter with a fountain. And then when I came into here, I changed just a couple things. The first thing I did was, I believe I removed, I think they had a cone force in here. So I removed that. I added the skeletal mesh location. I covered this in my last video. If you want to learn more, go back and watch my other skeletal mesh videos. You'll understand what this, uh, this uh, location capability is. But what it's doing is it's choosing a random point on the surface of your skeletal mesh. 
and you always have a preview mesh so i just picked the random preview mesh to to show that but this is where the skeletal mesh of the emitter and the system is tied to the mesh that i pass in right here so set niagara skeletal mesh component this this mesh that you pass in right here ultimately is the mesh that is used to render your particles here so i cranked up the i converted it to gpu i cranked up the spawn rate i lowered the size just using a vector 2d from float down to 1.4 i changed the gravity force rather than being gravity i have it at a positive z uh, so that the the particles are floating upwards a little bit and that's pretty much all that i did for that so we have our emitter once you have your emitter which i just called gv shell you just right click on it and do create Niagara system. It'll create a default Niagara particle system with your emitter inside of it. That. So that's all you need. Um, you've got your, your blueprint. So then once I place the blueprint, let me show you. So this is the easy part. So then you grab your blueprint. You drag it into the world like I did right here. So you see, I named this uh, blueprint GV. So I just drug in the blueprint. And then down here, these are the parameters that I, I had exposed in my blueprint, which will allow me to change what it is. So I downloaded some uh, meshes from Mixamo. If you don't know what that is, just look up Mixamo. It's M-I-X-A-M-O. And uh, you can download uh, animations and characters from there that you can use. So I just imported a couple one. This one's called Samba Dancing. And then there's the actual, uh, the mesh I, I imported just, it ended up being called Samba Dancing. So this is the mesh. This is the animation for this instance of my blueprint. And then I have another instance of my blueprint but I chose a different character, which is called Maw, and a different animation for Maw, which is a different type of dance. So real quickly, let me show you. This is Maw, <laughs> right? So Maw is going to be doing some dancing for us. And the other character that I had was my standard, uh, let me see if I can pull them up down here. This is the other character that I had. So it's just like a uh, a surgical uh, gown person or uh, someone with like a hazmat suit on. So, so yeah, so those are my two characters. And now when I go ahead and play this, it's going to execute and we see that here is my my character with the hazmat suit on and they are dancing and you can clearly see the outline of their mesh doing the dance so i don't know if you guys ever saw that movie spectral i'll uh try to put a, a trailer up or something for it but uh spectral is a really cool movie i enjoyed it it's not the best sci-fi movie i ever saw but I did really like it. And um, so this just kind of reminded me of Spectral, right? Where you have these uh, ghostly sort of apparitions walking around. So same blueprint, but now remember our character Ma with the big, uh, the big um, antlers and his big old hands. Looks like he's turned sideways a bit here. Yeah, so you can kind of see his antlers here. I slowed him down quite a bit because otherwise he just looks like a uh, a crazy man swinging around. But here you can see his big hand moving around and he's kind of dancing over here. Yeah, so uh, so that's it. Uh, we have created a two different 
instances of a, a spectral ghost-like thing with a particle system, and you can do a million things from here, right? You could uh, change the colors, you could make them bigger, smaller, go up, down, do whatever your little heart desires. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope to be using this soon uh, in some, uh, some work that I've been doing. So uh, take care, have a safe day, and a great day. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. And thank you. Bye.